For one Georgia Bulldog, practice isn't over at the last blow of the whistle, nor is the game over at the final buzzer. A senior guard on the women's basketball team, Marjorie Butler's strive for competition has led her to prestige beyond the basketball court. Early on, I was taught that, you know, one day basketball is going to end, the ball is going to stop bouncing, and I knew that I needed a life outside of athletics, and that was something that my parents taught me at a very young age, so I understood that I needed to have a strong academic profile. But, you know, as I grew up and, you know, matured, I just became a competitor, and I always wanted to be the best that I could be, so whether it was in the classroom or on the court, I wanted to be the best I could be, so that's one of the main reasons I pushed myself so hard in the classroom. I just think she's, you know, just exceptional in everything that she does. She holds herself to such high standards and expects everyone around her to uh, hold themselves to the same high standards. So, if anything, she's probably one of the few students I've ever worked with that's really challenged me uh, because oftentimes she knows the answer before I know the answer. Marjorie came to Georgia with a plan. So in some ways, you know, we can't take credit for anything that she's done. Um, she, she came here with over 50 college hours and she knew what she wanted to be an orth orthopedic surgeon. And, you know, so we had a lot of conversations about managing her time and making sure that she wasn't getting overwhelmed, you know, in the process. But the credit goes to her and her family because, you know, for her, a lot of people have a plan, but to actually stick to it and execute that plan. Um, and we're not talking about um, a regular major. We're talking about biology and exercise science and med school. So for her to do both at such a high level, is, it's, it's fun for her and it's exciting to watch her go through that process and be successful. I don't even know where to start with Coach Jonia. She has really been supportive throughout this process. I know there's been times where, you know, I tell her, you know, I'm going to miss practice or, you know, I'm, I'm I got to go on a visit and she says go, like it's, it's not even questioned and I think she is so supportive of my pursuits outside of basketball and she understands that medicine is something that I'm very passionate about and she has made sure that when I'm gone I, I come back and I'm in sync with the team. My job has been trying to get her not to worry so much about the basketball piece. There were times this year that she missed her practice because she was on an interview and she's emailing me saying can you send me the scouting report and I'm like no. Like, enjoy your interview, and then you'll get this when you get back. It's okay. Butler has had a multitude of support from her coaches, teammates, and professors, but none can match the motivation that Marjorie derives from her family. My sister Lauren uh, was actually born with cerebral palsy, and throughout her life, I've seen her struggle tremendously. Uh, when she was going into middle school, she actually just underwent a cochlear implant surgery and I remember her shopping for wigs to cover up the bald spot on the side of her head. Um, I remember one time she overheard somebody say the word retarded and she asked me, you know, are they talking about me because I'm retarded? And so I know that she struggled, but I also understand that her life would be tremendously different if it weren't for the doctors and surgeons that treated her and changed her life if it weren't for the surgeries that she underwent for the cochlear implant she might not hear the world like she does today she might not be able to walk today if it weren't for the leg reconstructive surgeries that she had so i think really early on i understood how medicine impacted her life and i wanted to impact somebody else's life that way marjorie who has already touched so many lives is well on her way to a bright future as of right now, I've been accepted to the University of Florida, Meharry Medical College, uh, University of Virginia, UAB, ETSU, Morehouse, Vanderbilt, and Emory, and University of Tennessee. You look at what she's done in the community, she's Scholar Athlete of the Year in the SEC. Um, she's got numerous, you know, all district, you know, academic awards. I think her legacy is going to be that you can do it all. You know, you come to Georgia, you can do it all. You can be an orthopedic surgeon, you can go to med school, you can be starting point guard on a great basketball team in this conference and have great success. So, number one, you've got to have a plan and you've got to execute the plan and make sure you have people around you to do it. But, you know, why not Georgia? Because here you can do it all. The University of Georgia is an institution unlike any other. And I think the reason that it's like that is because of the people here. Um, whether it's been the coaching staff, the academic support system, I mean, even Carla over in the athletic department 
These people have been so invested in my life and have taught me how to be invested in other people's lives. And ultimately, that's what I want to do with medicine. I want to impact somebody's life the way people here have impacted my life. So being here at a university that takes pride in the people that are here and the relationships that you form, that's been extremely important. From leading on the court to leading in the classroom, Marjorie Butler is a shining example of what it takes to be a Georgia Bulldog. Hunker down!